Now, it's no secret that news and media love to bring doom and gloom because it sells. It grabs your attention. Well, I'm on the flip side of that. I'm going to tell you why you should not be scared or intimidated over this subject. Now, how am I going to do that? I'm going to do it with history and some stone cold facts. What? I said stone cold facts. What part of stone cold do you not understand? That's me! Now, before I jump into foreclosures, let's get a couple things out of the way. Things that entail inflation, the Federal Reserve, interest rates, stuff like that. The Federal Reserve met last week as the recording of this video and raised interest a little bit. Now, the Federal Reserve wants to lower interest rates. And as they do that, the housing market is going to get kind of a downstream effect from it. While the Federal Reserve doesn't call mortgage rates, mortgage rates are impacted. So unfortunately, until we see inflation soften, we're going to continue to see mortgage rates mirror that. Now, George Raytu, who is the manager of economic research at Realtor.com, says this, with inflation still running at a 40-year high and the Fed expecting a few more rate increases to combat it, mortgage rates will experience upward pressure through the end of 2022. Now, to make an informed decision on whether right now is the best time for you to buy, I think we need to look at a little bit of history before we come to any final decisions. And that decision is going to tie in with the discussion of today being foreclosures. So I've got some numbers here and some statistics starting at 2007. And these numbers reflect how many foreclosures there were each year. Why is that important? I'll get to that. All right, here we have in 2007, there was 1.3 million foreclosures. In 2008, we all know what happened in 2008, we went up to 2.3 million foreclosures. 2009, 2.8 million foreclosures. And at 2010, we saw 2.9 million foreclosures, just under 3 million foreclosures in 2010. Now, why am I stopping at 2010? Because that is when the number of foreclosures peaked. It's important to understand that every year since 2010, even 2021, the number of foreclosures have decreased every single year, sometimes by 50%. 2021 saw only 151,000 foreclosures. Now this has happened because we have experienced a more qualified buyer in the marketplace and we have awesome lenders to thank for that. Now, I know you're asking yourself, well, that's cool, Josh, but where are we at in 2022? 2022 has been a wild year for real estate and mortgages. Well, now I'm gonna throw out a big scary number to you to get you all worried and anxious, and then I'm gonna calm you right back down. This channel is like a roller coaster of emotions. As of the second quarter of 2022, there were 58.2 million outstanding mortgages. That is a lot of late fees. And that's a lot of canceled date nights and a lot more hamburger helper. Hello. <laughs> Come here often? Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, back away from the ledge. Wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Back away. It's gonna be okay. Man, you're terrible at this. Are you even a cop? Because out of that 58.2 million outstanding mortgages, only 0.4%, 0.4% are actually facing foreclosures. Now, if you talk to somebody in the foreclosure business, they're generally okay with a 1% default rate in their portfolio. We're talking about 0.4% here. Now, while I don't wanna see anybody have to face foreclosure, we're certainly not going to see some giant tidal wave of foreclosures like you might've been hearing in headlines. And even better news, of those facing foreclosure, about 91% have at least some equity built up in their homes. Now that gives them options, such as selling, which beats the crap out of foreclosure. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. That being said, this is a very different scenario than back in 2008, when the housing market took a big old dive in the toilet. Skip it up and dive up. 
Headlines today can be extremely confusing if you don't go back in history and really dig up the data. Like I said at the beginning of this video, headlines like foreclosure activity continues to increase quarterly, nearing pre-pandemic levels. Well, the pre-pandemic levels of foreclosure really weren't that bad. Let's just say compared to 2015 or even 2016, when the housing market was pretty normal. To kind of button up everything I just said and to put a bow on it, I read a quote just yesterday that kind of puts a perfect spin on it. It says, in the absence of trustworthy, up-to-date information, real estate decisions are increasingly being driven by fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And that these decisions can be hugely consequential for consumers and even businesses. So there you have it, folks. Don't be driven by fear. Don't be driven by scary news articles that exist simply to get you to click on them and to keep your ears opened. Like I said in the quote, find trustworthy sources to get your information from. Look at history, look at facts. Go to the professionals who are actually in the field making moves happen. And as always, if there's anything I can do to help you with your real estate needs, my information is going to be right here. That's how you contact me. Or if you'd like to see more of my content, a link to our link tree is going to be in the description. There you can find TikToks, Instagram posts, and a link to my personal website. I've been Josh Oglesby with Real Broker LLC and Upstate SC Living, reminding you, please do enjoy yourselves.